Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from TrainSignal. The following clip is from TrainSignal's Windows Server 2008 Applications Infrastructure course featuring nearly 8 hours of applications infrastructure training. All right, I've just received some breaking news that there is a new FTP manager for IIS 7. Now, here's the thing. Remember how I was telling you that FTP by default is not secure, right? Well, if you want to use secure FTP with IIS 7, we actually need to go out to Microsoft.com and get a brand new FTP manager service. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, in order for this to work, I'm also going to have to uninstall the old FTP server service. All right, so let's go ahead and let's bounce on over. We're going to uninstall the old one. We're going to go out to Microsoft.com. We're going to download the new IIS 7 FTP manager for Server 2008. All right, so we're back over here on Web 1, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of Internet Information Services 6.0 manager and we're going to need to uninstall that role service for IIS 6. Let's scroll down here in the server manager. And we're under here underneath web server IIS. Now make sure that you're down here and not up underneath application server, okay? I'm going to go ahead and click on remove role services for IIS. And we're going to uninstall the work that we just did for the FTP publishing service. Again, this is the built-in stuff. We're going to go ahead and tell it next. And remove. And it's going to take a little while. So while this thing is actually removing the old services, we're going to go out to Microsoft.com and we're going to download the new FTP service for IIS 7. All right, so Internet Enhanced Security uh, is currently configured. That's really going to be annoying, but we're going to go ahead and tough it out here <laughs> to go get. Actually, we need to go not to Microsoft.com. I'm sorry. I'm lying to you. We need to go to IIS.net in order to get this particular download. Oh, good. Here we go. Content from the website is blocked. All right, let's go ahead and let's add IIS.net. This is really going to get on our nerves very, very quickly. Um, but here's the deal. This is probably not something that you want to turn off on your server. Okay, just so you know. I'm just going to go ahead and keep on closing and closing. And we'll just block the, these particular elements on the page. Wow, is this really annoying or what? Holy cow, I just keep closing stuff out. How many ads are there? Okay, looks like <laughs> we have uh, gotten out of the ads. Let's go to Get Popular Downloads, okay? And, oh, look, here we go again. Ads. Oh, ads. <laughs> are we going to get another one? Nope. Okay, good deal. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and scroll down the page here. And what I'm looking for is the Microsoft FTP publishing service for IIS 7. Now you notice here this is actually the 32-bit version, but don't worry about that so much because you know what? I'm going to go ahead and go to, here we go again, I'm going to go ahead and go to that page because we should find a link for the 64-bit version because we are running 64-bit editions of Server 2008. After I get through all of the ads, holy cow, I'm going to scroll down here. Here we go. Please see the following URL for the 64-bit version. That's where we want to go to. And, oh, good, here we go again. More ads, 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 and some more ads. Whew. Okay. <laughs> Microsoft FTP Publishing Service for IIS 7, 64-bit. That's what we want. Let's go ahead and let's download this guy real quick. And it's a pretty small download, a kind of a surprisingly small download. There we go. Let's go ahead and we'll save it. It's only 100 or 1.95 megabytes. We're going to go ahead and download this guy real quick. 
All right, we're going to save it to the desktop here, and we'll go ahead and we'll just leave the name as it is and save it down. All right, so, oh, there, wow, super fast download. There we go. Let's go ahead and close that, and now we'll close Internet Explorer. And we'll go back over to Server Manager, and we'll see how we're doing in terms of uninstalling the old FTP service. Oh, well, looks like we are still removing here. Oh, well, looks like we're just about finished. But it does look like it's going to take maybe just a little while to collect those results. So I'm going to pause the recording, and as soon as this guy is done, I'll come right back. Okay, it looks like we must restart the server in order to finish the removal process. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Close now. And do we want to restart now? Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll tell it yes. Again, I'm going to pause, and then as soon as this guy is done restarting, I'll come right back and show you how to install that new FTP service. All right, there we go. We have a successful removal. Let's go ahead and close this guy. We should not have to restart again for this one. All right, let's go ahead and minimize our server manager. And now let's see if we can't uh, install this FTP service. So we're going to double click. It's a very simplistic installation, nothing all that extravagant here. I'm going to tell it next, and I'm going to accept the license terms and tell it next. There's a few additional features here. We're going to go ahead and leave them as defaults and tell them next and install. And it's also a very fast installation. shouldn't take it very long at all. Now, again, here's something that I really want to emphasize to you is that if you want to have secure FTP using secure socket layer and certificates, you absolutely have to have this installed. Unless, of course, you have a third-party solution. And there's always that option out there. But if you're going with the stuff that Microsoft provides, uh, this is the way to go. All right. So now we can go ahead and click on the Finish button, and that should get it installed for us here. All right. Looks like we have just a few notes about this new FTP service, the integration with IIS 7.0. Uh, talks about the interface, yada, yada. I'll let you read that at your leisure.